Good morning. Welcome to our morning devotion. Glad you are tuned to the morning encounter. It is our prayer that you will encounter with God through this broadcast. And now, let's welcome the servant of God. Good morning viewers and praise the Lord. The Lord is good all the time and all the time. God is good. We continue with our devotion this week. My name is Reverend Elphaz Bwiri. It's been a pleasure sharing with you devotion since Monday. And this morning, I want us to look at um, something different or also the in same line. This week, we've just been looking at the race of faith, how we really uh, journey and sojourn with Christ. And today, I want to really encourage you that be loyal to the faith. Yeah, be loyal to the faith. Sometimes we become disloyal to the faith which God has called us. And I will be looking at uh, 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 13 to 18. I like reading the scripture this morning. And allow me to read 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 13 to 18. The Bible says, what, what you have heard from me, keep it as a pattern of sound teaching, with faith and in love in Christ. Guard the good deposit that was entrusted to you. Guard it with the help of the Holy Spirit who lives in us. You know that everyone in the province of Asia has deserted me, including Philegelus and Hermogenes. May the Lord show mercy to the household of Onesperus, because he often refreshed me and was not ashamed of my chains. On the contrary, when he was in Rome, he searched hard to, to, for me until he found me. May the Lord grant that he will find mercy from the Lord on that day. You know very well in how many ways he helped me in Ephesus. Be loyal uh, in faith. I'm not a, uh, a person that would really talk about um, following Baba and Mama churches. But let me tell you, we just be loyal in faith. Loyalty is a great thing. Not just to the people, but even those God has been able to put together with you. Um, be loyal to them. Be friendly to them. Be able to show concern as Paul writes here and says, and keep a pattern of sound teaching. Let me begin there. That you understand that it's right for me to honor and respect the people God has given me. Be loyal to your senior pastor. Be loyal to your elders. Be loyal to your governing leadership in the name of Jesus so that you don't get up and you get at a place you are tearing one another. You live in a household. After we leave that gate, you say, oh, look at this. It's called backbiting. You buy, you backbite one another. I want to tell you, be loyal in faith. Be loyal as you look at Christ. One mentor of mine told me that in this life we live in, is people that promote others as God orders them. So how you carry yourself in this particular perspective will determine. Even in the church, um, God will really send Samuel to come and ordain you as he ordains David. And he also ordains Samuel as uh, Saul. He comes and he changes the mantle. Be loyal in faith. Be loyal to God. Be loyal in the things. In fact, the Bible talks about us having the faith like of a child. Children are very loyal. They are loyal to their parents. They are loyal to their, to their mother and father. I want to encourage this morning. Be loyal in faith. And loyalty, I'm not saying you agree with everything. Paul begins by saying that first by being able to be of sound teaching. Then he continues and he shares how some people were standing with him. He mentioned particular names. Let me tell you, when you matter in the loyalty list, your name will be in the book of life. Not in the books of life. It will be in the book of life. Be loyal to God and knowing what to do and what to not to do. And God has asked us, our loyalty begins with prayer. Our loyalty begins with sacrifice. Uh, how do we offer our tithes and offering? How loyal are you to those who are suffering? Paul was in chains. And there were people that were very loyal. They went and even saw and visited him. Do you do that to your fellow people in your Bible study group? Do you do that to your people that you are with in the same church? Do you do that to some people that matter in your family? Or do you just think that you are on? I want to ask you to consider being loyal in faith. Do not be an errant boy or errant girl and prodigal son and prodigal daughter in the things of God. God wants you to be loyal. Be loyal to your company. Be loyal to your wife. Be loyal to your children. Be loyal. Be patriotic to your nation. 
Not be a person that you are visiting another nation, but you are tearing it apart. You are working in a team, but you are just a, 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 a what do they say? They, they say a dog with a sheepskin uh, in, in a place or whichever. God asking us to be loyal where he has sent us, particularly in faith. I want to pray with you and for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you. Thank you for our viewers, Lord. I pray that you help us to be loyal to where we are, particularly in faith. Be loyal to your word. That we do all that your word expects us to do. In our workplace, we ask ourselves, what would Jesus do in this circumstance? In the name of Jesus, may you bless us. May you walk with us. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. That was the morning encounter. We are glad that you tuned in. Follow us on YouTube at Sidim Eldoran TV. Our Facebook page is Sidim Eldoran. Our Twitter and Instagram handles at Sidim Eldoran. And our website is eldoran.sidim.org. Let's encounter again tomorrow morning, same time, same place.